Thought. It comes out through all the holes. Somewhere it comes as blue light, somewhere it comes as red light, somewhere it comes as violet light. But there is only one, uh, one knowledge which comes through that. There is only one light which comes through the all. So similarly, that divine light, it is that which has come into all of us. There is only one generator saying, from which it has come, all the twenty bulbs in my home, they are all inhabited by the same electricity. The electricity has come in its full wattage in all of them. Then, all of them should be thousand watts, or all of them should be zero watts. How is it that there is a difference? Why is it one is a zero watt, one is thousand watt? It is the same. Similarly, when you say the entire divine energy has come into all of us, then all of us should be the president of India, or all of us should be the sweepers. Then how is it? One is a doctor, one is an engineer, one is a rich, one is medium rich, one is a stone rich. Why all these differences? The differences is not due to the energy. There is no defect in the energy. The energy has come in full into each of us. We are all 100% Purna Atma, Purna Brahman, 100% the full divine energy has come in us. We are all 100% divine, not 1%, not 10%. Tell me, how is it? One man you say, uh, Ramana was so great, why did you not get equally great? What happened to you? Then it will be the same electricity which has come to you. That defect is in the container. Unfortunately, you have put it inside the container. The defect is not in the light, it has come fully, but the bulb has got what is called a resistance. Resistance means an impediment, an obstacle, which will not allow it to manifest outside. It cannot come outside. Outside, it is a miser, it allows little to come, that is called the zero man. And the one who is a little more generous, which gives out more, hundred man. Or furthermore generous, you call it thousand man. So, the fault is in you. If you remove the faults in a bulb and make it all without any resistance, it will, it will be with a full uh, electricity, a full wattage as that. Similarly, if you remove all the obstacles and impediments, then what are the impediments and obstacles? The impediments and obstacles are Raga, Dvesha, Kama, Trodha, Moha, Jealousy, all these things. These are all the impediments. If all the impediments go, you are not a Mahatma, you become the Lord Himself at that time. You become the Lord Himself if only you shows the Son. So, so here, Nana Chidra means many holes are there. Nana Chidra Ghatta. Ghatta means what we have bought. So inside the pot they have made several holes. And inside the pot they have put a Mahadita. And that is Prabhavasuram. Its light is very, very brilliant and effulgent and it is coming out. And just like that, Yanam Mishatu, Chaturadi Karnadvara Abhinishpan. I say, I am looking at you, I am hearing what you say. I walked all the way from there to come here from the thing to hear you. I walked and then I am now talking. Who is that who is walking, talking, smelling, I, uh, hearing and seeing? What a question, Swamiji. You don't know? My eyes are seeing. My nose is smelling. My dear, if that is so, if I fall dead this moment, my ears are open, God has not put any shutters. My eyes so happen to be like this, it is also open. Can I see? Can I hear? Can I walk? Can I talk? Then who was it that was doing all these things? It was that supreme energy which has come from the divinity from that 
the totality of the divinity, whatever has come, which has come into me, it is that which was working in all of us, not all these things. So, just as the same one energy, it was visible through all the holes of the part, similarly, that one energy which is inside, it is visible through all these holes called the eye, the mouth, uh, uh, the ears, and all. That's so it was. Chachuradi Gananathvara, please come the name. That one divinity which is in full, it has been now divided and has come through the various holes. Jana meet the name of Handam and Bhakti, a dustman of the name. It is the Lord's effulgence and brilliance because of which you have seen this world. In the dream, you are, you are going to sleep at night, 12 o'clock, it's pitch dark. The electricity cut, you don't have anything at all. In that pitch dark when you got your dream, you are going to office. Were you going to office in darkness? And then, there is light. So there is light. Where from that light came? Where it is everywhere pitch dark, where from that light came during that dream, when you are going to office, when you are working, where from the light came? It came from Him. He is there at all times. It doesn't depend on external factors at all. He is always there. And you blow because of His glory. Because He exists, your existence is seen. Tameva bhantam anubhati atasamtam. Because of his effulgence, from that we are getting Bha means light. Bhantam, Prakashi, become effulgent and brilliant. And that is why our India is called the Bha Ratri. Bha means the knowledge, the final knowledge. Rata means those who are engaged in the, in the, in the accumulation of that knowledge. So they are all called the Bharatas. There's a time when everybody was interested. That is why all the oldest books on architecture, they're all in poems. They're all in poems. All the best books in um, anatomy, all the best books in diagnosis, in uh, allopathy, there is no poem there. There is a skeleton which contains ribs. There is no poems. It's all in but in those days, Sushirtas, they are all in poems. Why? When you want to get the infinite, you have to have your finite vessel to take it. You can't go and just bring the ganges in your hands. You require a limited vessel. You have water, water. You have to take it. So, prose is unlimited. You can go on writing. Poetry is limited. Meters, they say, how many syllables should be there in first line, second line, third line. It's all fixed. So that is why you are free. In the Devi Upasana, why do we have what is called the Sri Chakra? It is only the limitations which you are making, it is a limited vessel we are made in order to catch the unlimited to bring it for our use in our house. And that is the Tantra, Yantra. It's called the Yantra. So, by putting various syllables of mantras on the various types, and all these things represent waves. You see the Sri Chakra, somewhere it is given nicely, like Kamal Dal, like the lotus petals. It is not a lotus petal. The waves you represent like this, like a triangle. Why can't you represent like this? Nobody can prevent it. So, it's all the yeah, representation of the energy. So, that energy we are trying to catch and bring it here for our use. That's that. So, because it grows, because of its existence we exist, because of its growth we are seen, because it is seen, so we are seen, actually. It's, it's power to be seen, it's power of light, it works on us, that's why we are being seen, we are able to see you, I am able to see you. So, the one because of whose Mahima all these things happen, that is my Guru. That is Dashina Guru. 
I bought him in the cave. He said a lot of Namaha. Om Sri Matri Namaha, Om Sri Maharaji Namaha, Om Sri Mr. Masri Chodhi Namaha. Namaha, what does it mean? Namaha, Namaha. नमस्कार Your hand power, your icha shakti, kyan shakti, kriya shakti, they are symbols of these hands, this heart, this one. You put them all and say, Lord, nothing is mine, nothing is mine. Tera hai, tera hai, it's all yours. That's all. Na, mama, let's call the mama. Thank you, mama. It's now two, ten, another ten minutes. So, I stop it. I thought we could finish it. तस्मै श्री गुरुमूर्ति देहम प्राणमंद्रियाण्यपितलाम्रीभालंदोमस्तृहा मयाशक्तिलास कलमोहतमारिणे तस्म श्री गुरमूर्त नम श्री दक्षिणमूर्त इन ऑल अवर टेक्स्ट ऑफ वेदांता अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी कुड नेवर एस्केप फॉर नाइट बिकॉज वी फाइंड that there are people who believe in something else somebody believes in buddhism somebody believes in charvaka who is charvaka charu walk the one whose words are very sweet so people came at his way there was a chap absolutely he never knew anything he was illiterate he went to the forest with four or five people Some of you are caught in the blizzard and snow and all that. Third point is the other is escape. They went somewhere. He was alone. Some of he went here, there, and he was caught up. He was in a big forest, and all his clothes have gone away. He was ashamed to go into any town, so he remained there for twenty years eating the fruits and all that. By that time, he had a beard which reached his feet. Up to that big beard and all that, he didn't look as if he was a monkey, and all these things became a chada. Then he said, because the beard has grown, it was covering his nakedness to a large extent. He said, let me go. How long can I remain here? He went to the nearest city. All people came in big distinct. They have told him uh, all came with welcome. All these things. A great monkey has come. All the way after his tapasya, after the master deeds, they all took him. They all told him, "Sir, you speak something." He said, "What is that to be true? Everything is based on the body. So as such, Rinan Kritwa Gritam Bibe. See, it is the body we have to keep it nice. So even if you take a loan, you purchase a lot of gear, eat, and put into our body well, because." भस्मी बोते तो देह है तू पुनराग मन कुदा वे नॉन्स दिस दिस बर्न इट वोंट कम अगेन सो वेन इट इज दैट यू फिल्ड अप विथ जी यू गो आप जाओ एवरीथिंग डोंट बॉडर अबाउट द डायबिटीज सो दिस इज द दिस इज व्हाट ही टोल सो दिस अपील टू देम चारु वाक सो यू हैव कॉल्ड चारु वाक मतलब दिस इज द एरलीएस्ट नास्तिक Then how did the Astika Madhas? There were so many, and Buddhism we are drawn to the Astika Madhas. Astika people think that Astika means believe in God. Nastika means not believe. It is not so. Veda ha pramanam astiti yaha. Vedam is there. Vedam is my pramanam. He is called Astika. 
the people who believe in Vedas and Astikas, the people who not, do not believe in Vedas and Astikas. Now, we have got six Astikamatas, like Samkhya, Yoga, Tarka, Nimamsa, uh, Purim Nimamsa, Uttar Nimamsa, like that. Out of which only our Vedanta, it accepts one ultimate God. Rest of them, they don't believe in ultimate God. Now, for instance, Sankhya, originally Kapila, as he wrote, he said, Nirishwara Sankhya, there was no Ishwara. And that was the stage there. Me, even Mimamsa, who, who were talking about all Yagas and Ikyas, how to do and all these things, they said, you do the Yaga, the Yaga itself, the Karma itself creates a Chakti called Apurva. It is a sort of a, uh, uh, a, a subtle ledger account which is attached to you. So, when we die, it comes with us. In 1928, he did this Yaga, so he sent her to the balcony seat in Sunda. In 1952, he did another Yaga. So he's, uh, he's uh, allowed a balcony seat in Jalaloka. So that will go with him and seat him and then he can be there for some time. Then it goes and takes him. There is no God. Uh, that is the one which is supposed to be nearest to us. Nearest to Vedanta. Vedanta alone believes in God. Ishwara Sunda. So, the practice in our Vedanta is, or Vedanta, anybody is, first to tell about yours and then go on telling those fellows are wrong, these fellows are wrong, this uh, uh, Buddhism is wrong, Jainism is wrong. So go on telling them, it's called the Khandana. So first they do their own, then they will go on being criticizing the other ones. So more or less in the same manner it is. He says there are other people who don't believe in the final uh, reality. On the contrary, they say, Deham Prana Bindriyana So, some people, like the Charvaka says, the body alone is true. So long as you look that, it is true, they shall. Then somebody says, no, no, Prana is alone good, that's uh, the Prana Shakti is there. Other people say, no, no, Indriyas are true. As long as we have that, Chalam, Buddhim, Chalam, there is a uh, uh, one type of uh, Buddhist called the uh, uh, Vajjanikas. Shanika uh, Vajjanikas. That is what they say. Now I am seeing Dr. Vijayesh. I don't see it completely. One second I see that Dhyana comes, this is Vijayesh. The second, second second, another Dhyana comes, that Dhyana goes away. That is Vijayesh. Then the third minute another comes. As they are together in the cinema, when they take, you know, slowly they take, and then when you see that he is uh, raising his hand, like similarly, this total you think that I am seeing Mujayatvi for half an hour, nobody sees. Every second I see, every second a new uh, the thing comes. It is a moving jnana, chalam, dim. It's a moving jnana. Every minute it goes, it is called the chanika vijnana this. Then, then other people say, see, there are three types of Buddhism. Uh, the Madhyamikas, they say about this, uh, that Chanika Vijayana There are another people who say, everything is Shunya, there is no Buddhi, 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 nothing is there. That's all. Uh, finally, everything is ultimate Shunya. They are called the Shunya Vadis. They are called Sautantikas or Sautantikas, there are three types there. So, there are other people who say everything is Shunya finally. Sri Valanda Jeruma, who are they? They are all absurd fellows, like an illiterate lady, Sri Bala, an illiterate, uh, a small child. What is it now? It is like that, they are babbling, they are babbling like in this rich lady, like a uh, uh, not grown up child, a small child. Then Andha, like a blind man, many of what is, you know, how can he describe things? So it will all be absurd. Like that will be there. 
एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आगामी फाइनली दे थिंग आई एम ट्रू आई एम ट्रू मोस्टली दे ऑल कम टू दर ही गो एंड विषम वादना दे ऑल टॉक ए लॉट दैट्स ऑल इट हैज गॉट नो सब्सटेंस इन दे टॉक ए लॉट विषम वादना माया शक्ति विलास कल्पित महाव्यामो संभारिणी ऑल दीज थिंग्स ऑट टू डू द डेल्यूशन ऑफ द लॉर्ड द लॉर्ड हैज क्रिएटेड दिस संसार इन दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ डेल्यूशन how it has been done maya shakti vilas due to the spreading or extension uh, or spreading of the maya shakti the lord's magical thing that is why we people can't understand straight away the truth when it faces us we think this is true that is true that is true and we say uh, the body alone is true so like that we go what to do is all maya shakti then who will be able to take away that Delusion which has come, only the Guru knows. He can. Samarini, he is the one who will be able to annihilate forever that delusion of the Yamaha due to the Maya Shakti of the Lord. This is my Sri Guru. He is my Guru. Sri Dakshina Murti. I bow to that Guru, that Guru Murti, which has come in the form of. Dashamukti, Hari.